There was reports uh, saying that the president uh, said that he's sorry and he's disappointed in himself after meeting with the Muslim leaders. Do you think that uh, the president could have done more to show sympathy towards Palestinian civilians who are being seen as even-handed? Uh, I'm not going to discuss uh, reports of private meetings. Um, uh, th as I said earlier, the, the president understands there's strong feelings here on all sides. And as he's also said publicly, he doesn't want to see any more innocent civilians killed or wounded as a result of the fighting in Gaza. Not one. I mean, the right number of civilian casualties is zero. We understand there have been many, many thousands of them. Um, and we understand that with each and every one of those data points as a grieving family, we, the president understands that. And that's why we're going to continue to urge our Israeli counterparts as they go back uh, they plan to go back to military operations, that they do it in the most discreet, deliberate, careful, cautious way possible. What's the declared um, aim of this war by the Israelis is to, uh, to destroy Hamas and to kill its leaders. One of its leaders is Yahya Sinwar. He's the guy who signs on the hostage deal. Yeah, I know he is. Can you, explain, uh, can you explain this complexity of, on one hand, Israel wanted him dead, but at the same time, He's the one who decides how many hostages are going to be released. I mean, just help us to understand how complex is that. And is this a way, to, is this like a strategy to keep from Hamas to keep on uh, releasing less hostages on the hope that he won't be targeted? Or will be well, you're asking me to kind of get into the psychology of Hamas, and I'm just not going to do that. What I can tell you is that uh, the Israelis have a right and a responsibility to go after this threat posed by Hamas, and certainly as a part of doing that, to go after their leadership, which they have done. Um, and they have talked about uh, the leadership that they have been able to take off the battlefield of Hamas. It's a strategy that we executed ourselves against ISIS and against al-Qaeda. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a, there's a logic to going after the leadership of a network. Um, but, uh, but in the meantime, um, there are Ham Hamas political leaders that uh, that uh, Qatar has connections with and communications with that uh, that were um, that they are working with uh, to secure the release of these hostages.